What's up everyone, it's Curtis YZ, and today we're going to bring up the controversial topic that I think about, at least on some level. Do games have an influence on a person's uh, state of mind or whatever? The classic video game debate. Do video games incite violence? I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't think they do, but I don't think a lot of people talk about these particular topics. Introducing Fortnite, Call of Duty, and of course, Insurgency, the best one out of them all. And I'm going to argue the least harmful for your state of mind because it is actually realistic as opposed to cartoony fake for children way to start this debate off, I'm going to show you some footage of the gameplay Fortnite. And you tell me, is this appropriate for children? So what we have here is a person playing Fortnite, right? Listen to how toxic they are. Listen to how old they are. We've got a 30-year-old, a 25-year-old, a 18-year-old playing against children. All right, these are 10-year-olds. These are 13-year-olds. The children, all the teenagers are playing Fortnite, right? And probably Call of Duty. We got people like this that are so insecure with their gaming skills that they feel the need to play against children in order to make themselves feel good about their skills in video games because they are not good at video games. So they have to play against children in order to make themselves feel better. That's what I see. Let's take a look at some of the subliminal messages. Destroy houses so that you can pick up weapons. That's the message I'm seeing here. I know I'm exaggerating it. There's nothing else being said here except for destroy things and pick up weapons and kill people. And it's all just pretty colors and cartoony land. It's for kids. Hey kids, remember how you used to kill people all the time when, when you were kids and it was just cartoons? My point is, if there is a psychological effect on video games, making it all colorful and cartoony and making it look like it's all just for kids, in my opinion, is more sadistic and sick and twisted than just showing the real thing because you're subliminally saying to children, killing people is fun and pretty colors. Killing people is okay. Look at how much fun everybody's having killing people with these vibrant colors. Get some actually killing guy. You, you good at all? You, you do anything in this goddamn game? Or you just fucking run around. What a great game. 10 minutes of running around and destroying some wood. Because, um, it's like, wow. No need to lie there. I'm, I'm not, I'm not lying. Uh, what are you fucking talking about, bro? God! I'm playing Fortnite! Stop shooting! Piece of shit! And then we have this. I attribute this ridiculous behavior to Fortnite. I'm sorry. I've never heard anybody talk in such a ridiculous manner in my life. Again, over-exaggerating. I think you can tell how much I do not like these kinds of games. You tried and you failed. Okay, so we got these toxic players playing against children, shooting guns, making everything look all pretty, Pretty sadistic to me. I think this is a good enough example explaining why Fortnite is A, stupid, and B, not good messaging, and C, stupid. Seriously, he ran around for 15 minutes. See what place he got. Eight place. Killing people is just pretty colors and flashy lights. That's what Fortnite says. If there's a psychological effect, then giving kids this game and making it look all pretty, it sets the tone that killing people is okay and it's positive. I grew up playing Doom, arguably worse to a lot of people, but hey, demons are undeniably bad. That's what they are, they're demons. You could say the same thing for this, but subliminally speaking here, a lot more heavy handed and it's specifically for kids. I don't think Doom was made for kids. I played it, yes, 
but they didn't have kids in mind, and yet it's still safer for a kid to play. It's very easy to tell it's not real. Same with this, but the cartoony nature gives it this whole positivity vibe, and it just makes it feel very sick and twisted, in my opinion, because just telling kids, hey, killing people is all pretty colors. It's just, I just, no. This is, this is bad to me. If anything, this is the worst thing. Stepping it up a little bit, we're moving to Call of Duty. Now this is a bad example, but it's still a good example of how bad this gameplay is. Take a look at this crap. Bro, something just happened to my PS4 where it made me hit go him, to main menu. Oh. Oh. Salvador, if you win this. That is ridiculous. Okay, ignoring how ridiculous everybody sounds when you got kids playing this game too, so it's not like they're all switching over to Fortnite to play some pretty colorful game. No, still got people playing this, still got grown adults playing against kids. Look at this combat. This is how things happen? Oh, there's a guy, shoot. Oh, I missed point blank. Hit him. Uh, run around, jump, hit him, uh, shoot him, got him, yeah. Reload while jumping and stuff. Are you joking me? So this is also telling people, you can do all this stuff, you can join the army and become a soldier, jump around and reload and run and shoot them and jump and hit them. That's what this is telling people, well, I can do it in a video game, I played it as a kid. It does have a little bit of effect, people do grow up thinking you can do these things, but they don't realize is how fast you generally are moving in video games compared to real life. They do that because they want it to be exciting. They don't want you to wait around because you're a kid and you have no freaking patience. Geared for children. Look at this ridiculous gun skin. People like this stuff. I think it's the most ridiculous, ugliest thing. I would never want to see that. But let's take a look. Okay, getting shot twice right here. Yeah, but he could just run around and jump. No problem, because getting shot means nothing. Because guess what? I'm going to heal. Okay. What is that? That's the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. That should not be in video games. You just freaking heal? So he got shot twice. Got shot, I think, two more times. One or two more times right there. Total of four times now. Oh, but I heal. I heal in a second. Yeah, shoot him all sporadically, because that's how combat is. Yeah, and then crouch on his body, because that's what real life is. Yeah, and then shoot his body, because that's mentally healthy. That's mentally healthy to do that. Yeah, spin around and set a bomb. This is all mentally healthy things to be doing for children, right? This is really cool gameplay, right, guys? Spinning around looking at the sky with a knife. Wow, I've never been more visually stimulated in my life. Let's take a look at this guy. Got shot once. Everybody's running around crouching, moving all over the place. Okay, running around moving. Nobody moves that fast. Nobody can physically run that fast. Not with the equipment that you're carrying. I'm sorry, no, it's not gonna happen. Guy comes running around jumping with a riot shield on his back. Yeah, that's gonna be real easy to go running around sprinting Jump in. This guy gets shot again. In Insurgency, it takes one or two shots at all. Ever. You never heal. Okay, you never heal. You get hit one or two times and you never heal. So as far as I'm concerned, none of these killstreaks are even remotely challenging. Yes, they take skills. Way less significant because of that absolutely absurd factor. Are you heal? I'm sorry, that's still, to me, the stupidest thing I've ever seen in a video game. It's just dumb. Controversial statement, Call of Duty is the last Jedi of game franchises, of first-person shooters. And Fortnite is the Rise of Skywalker, basically. It is the flashier, prettier one. The Last Jedi is the more grounded of the two, but they're both very heavily flawed, are they not? Neither of the two replicate with the feeling that Star Wars created, the original Star Wars trilogy, and even the prequels. None of those movies are a realistic depiction of what the originals were supposed to be. Just like these video games are not realistic depictions of what real life would be like, or even remotely close. Even Insurgency is not realistic to what real life is like, but it's still a thousand times more realistic than this bullshit. So let's see what else. So he's already been shot two or three times, right? Get shot four times, five times, four, four or five times. Sorry, right, I got healed. Oh. Five, six. I'm not exactly sure if he's getting hit twice or what, but definitely looks like he's getting shot twice right there. So he got shot four to six times. What a cool killing spree. All right, now if we look at Insurgency's gameplay, this is some that I captured. That guy that I shot took one or two shots and he was down. One shot. And I missed. 
and I got shot one time and was down. But this doesn't happen all the time. Sometimes shot one or two times and I'm still alive. But it does slow you down in the moment. When you get shot and you live, it slows you down. You don't have that in Call of Duty. In a split second here of me just showing you, it showed a thousand times more realism here. Uh, just in physics, realism in the shooting. Some people might say, this is too real. It's too, it's not good. I don't know what the negative is of having a more realistic depiction of what happens in real life. To me, that's called truth and not lying. That's what Call of Duty is a lie. Fortnite is a lie. This is at least not lying to me about what the reality is when when I'm doing what I do in this video game. It shows a realistic depiction of what would really happen, right? It's close to a realistic depiction. I just don't see a negative to that. Where's the negative? It's not gonna make people wanna do this in real life. Where's the negative? It's only telling you the truth. It's only giving you some sort of gain in real understanding and knowledge, unlike Call of Duty, where it always takes three or four shots. In this, it takes one or two maybe three. A rare third shot is sometimes required, but it is very rare. It doesn't happen a lot. You'd have to be using like your pistol at over 100 meters to take at least three shots. As far as I'm concerned, I've never seen it really happen unless I'm using a pistol at a distance. Definitely more variables and possibilities and realistic factors and everything. Everything, the details are spot on way more detail, more physics, there's way more truth to insurgency than there will ever be in Call of Duty. So, in my opinion, I think that something like this, a realistic depiction, I think it's more healthy than showing all this pretty colors and stuff and thinking that that's healthy for somebody. That's not healthy. That's, if anything, worse. If this is not healthy for you, if watching realistic gameplay isn't healthy, if it incites violence, then I would claim that Fortnite and Call of Duty incite even more violence than something like this because they paint the picture that you can do even more than what the reality of the situation in real life because in real life you can't just go around running and jumping like that in Call of Duty. It's not possible. They're lying and this is at least giving you a little bit of truth and reality in the situation. I don't know what else to say about it. Yeah, everybody else just says F insurgency. I don't want to play realistic stuff. I want to play this stupid stuff. I want to play this stupid stuff. I can't play against the uh, adults so I'm gonna play against children and children and I'm gonna feel good because I play against children and children. That's what you're playing against. Statistically, you're playing against 13-year-olds. Want to play against 13-year-olds? That's what you're doing.